If you feel temptation and the urge is very strong, give a little whistle. <whistles> give a little wrong cricket. They're gonna give a little copyright. Back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. Twitter. 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 What do you think? I got to have some juice. It's so juicy. Uh, I think we were supposed to send a picture. You guys are fantastic. And also, um, follow us on official Twitter account because there's 5,000 of you beautiful, stupid babies there, and you help me out a lot. Uh, but today. <laughs> We are reacting to a cricket video, but it's a uh, Sachin cricket video. <sighs> it's called Sachin, the best innings compilation. I think it's like almost a documentary, Sweet. short documentary. Uh, I think I could be totally wrong. Uh, we haven't. We've only reacted to Sachin's film. Correct. Sachin Billion Dreams. The trailer. The a long time ago. Trailer. Uh, this is actually about the player, and so since we're learning a lot about cricket and going to a cricket game. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, look out for that. Uh, but here we go. Because he's known as the god of cricket. That's what they tell us. Here we go. Legends of cricket. In his homeland, he enjoys a near godlike status. Great players hail him as a batting genius. He is intelligent and handsome. Yet decency and humility are his watchwords. Still one of the finest batsmen in the world today. Sachin Tendulkar Sachin. is one of ESPN's legends of cricket. Sachin. 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 March 1994. On a seeming wicket, Sachin Tendulkar was promoted to open the batting in a one-day international against New Zealand. He made 84 from 49 balls. As they're all getting to their feet, for one of the great one-day innings you will ever see. Tendulkar will go down in, certainly in Indian history, I think is probably their best player. And there have been some very good ones, but uh, this modern Indian generation where they've, they've been able to see him uh, play all his cricket on television, uh, I think will, um, will result in him being remembered forever. And he's going through the covers again, and that's another four. Where can this man happen? He can hit the I like how I understand what's happening now. Child prodigy. Right. Uh, I think he's one of those very few great uh, uh, players who started off looking special, you know, at the age of 14, 15, anybody who saw him realized that he was a child prodigy. And uh, he never let anybody down, you know. We had huge expectations when he saw him the first time. And Indian expectations can be quite, you know, heavy and sometimes yeah. could be a little yeah. impractical as well. But athletes but, uh, don't live up to the expectations when they're found young. This man is a wonderful player, and we're seeing the best of him today. I like those jerseys. Like throwback, you always do like throwback days, right? Beautiful shot. Oh, wow. Tendulkar's technique is the benchmark uh, for modern batsmen. Don Bradman believed that he was the closest one to himself. That's exactly where he wanted that to go. Is that looks like a bunt? Tendulkar's technique uh, is to go back to what Sir Donald Bradman said about him. And that is that when Bradman was watching him bat one day and he said to his wife, come and have a look at this, this black bat's like me. And he was talking about Tendorka. I think he's the most complete batsman of uh, his age and perhaps of all time because uh, he scored runs against every kind of bowling, everywhere in the world, every situation, every all kinds of pitches, and that's something you can't say about everybody in the world. Oh, hello! What a smashing shot! I think he's the best player in the world today, without a shadow of doubt. Another a small man you see like Bradman, and uh, but he's... Jackie Bird! I was just going to say, he's a great name! Sports. I mean, there's so much time in which to play the ball, and again, as I said about all greats, tremendous balance, and... Uh, there's a lot to be said for that. Woo! 
Tendulkar is close to being the most perfect batsman one has ever seen. His back lift is straight, his balance is unbelievable, he can play off either foot, he can play on either side and uh, again that uh, that ability that separates you know the men from the boys, the ability to hit the good ball for boundaries or sixes. Great shot. Absolutely smashed it to the boundary. also influences the game with his skillful bowling and athletic and accurate fielding. So he's the but the bat all around he player. devastates bowlers and dominates games. That's a crashing shot through extra cover. Sachin as a batsman is just you you know you're watching someone special. You know that you're photographing um, someone who will only come along. Uh, you know, say it once every hundred years. You brought a new dimension to Indian cricket. You had a Gavaskar on, on the one hand who would grind bowlers out and brought a lot of pride for us in, uh, in as, as a world-class batsman. But suddenly here was someone who was taking attacks apart. And I think Tendulkar was a product of his generation. He came in when India were a prouder nation. India as a nation had greater self-belief. And he came in at a time when India was looking for that kind of hero. Oh, what a Steve shot. Wins. Gore stand up in the port. A beautiful on drive. Charging and playing it over the wicket. This incredible star. It's crazy. Uh, was, it's you know, sometimes they the say the stock market would have gone up with that section's yeah. performances. No, it's like, um, it's know, almost like the whole cool. yeah. Indian in terms of, you know, population you have to, you know, wanting him to succeed. Split and second to side. Going where around with that on the shoulders yeah. for 20 years. But, you know, that is, you know, the, the, the most amount or even of pressure, tennis, you know, cricket, you know, the speed at which it's coming at you, so you have to make a decision about where you're going to place it, say, you know, he's, it. He's yeah. been the most phenomenal technician, but the hunger and drive and passion the guy has had to have that longevity. Also very humble, I hear, too. Yeah. Wow! wow. He's in for another one. Four! Four! Yeah, wow. Was that on ESPN? The, yeah, it was an ESPN thing. Two, two things that come to mind immediately when they talked about the expectations since they knew when he was 14, it was like, here's this 14-year-old kid. Reminds me of when they were talking about LeBron in the NBA. Mm. Because they started talking about LeBron when he was playing high school, and they already had anointed him like he's going to be the next Kobe, the next MJ. It's hard to live up to that. I mean, he did. And he did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did. You know, And it's also, uh, it's like... You know, having to replace, I mean, this isn't, this isn't really comparable, but when you have to step into the shoes of somebody like a Joe Montana, mm. right, like Young did, um, it's, when those kinds of expectations are on you, most of the time people don't live up to the expectations. Like Aaron Rodgers. Like, right. Lived in Something happens. Yeah, yeah, Ken yeah. Griffey Jr. Almost. had tons of injuries in baseball. There was actually a kid in soccer in the MLS, uh, I don't believe he's actually from the United States, though. Um, he was a prodigy of soccer he was 14 years old right uh and he uh he was gonna be like the next Pele right um and he was he was good but then he kind of just fizzled out and didn't live up to the hype yep um, happens more often than not it happens yeah. they don't live up to the hype yeah. and apparently he exceeded the yeah. hype and the He's other thing too that god of cricket yeah exactly <laughs> yeah and the other thing too that we're learning about cricket compared because i've said this before on other reactions we've done to cricket that my sport growing up since i mean i so I could hold things, my dad put a baseball in my hand. So I played, baseball was my high school sport, it was my college sport, and I know every little nuance. I can watch a hitter and I can tell, like if I'm watching the Yankees and Aaron Judge is swinging and his swing is off and he's striking out, I can tell what he's doing with his swing based on his hand position on the bat, what he's doing with his right shoulder, if he's rotating his hips. I'm not nowhere near remotely close to that with this, mm -hmm. but this has so much more going on because your options of where you're going to swing and where the ball's going to go <laughs> are infinitely more complex. Mm -hmm. uh, because in baseball, the pitcher's got to put it in the strike zone. Yep. And if it's not in the strike zone, you're not swinging. Mm -hmm. Not like this. This is pretty much everywhere this freaking thing here. goes. Okay, you swing back where, and you hit it over yeah, there. <laughs> wherever this thing goes, I'm going to hit it. And not only am I going to have to make contact, I mean, baseball players do this too. A good baseball player is going to know I got runners in scoring position. I don't want to force play. I want to hit it to the right side to at least move the men over. Or I want to hit a fly ball so they can tag up. 
So they can place the ball. And there's a great story of Rod Carew from the Angels. The catcher's talking to him while he's hitting, and the catcher's trying to mess with his head and says, where are you going to put this rod? And as the pitch comes in, and as he's swinging, he says, oh, I'm going to put it in right, and he hits it to right field. But this, like, I remember when we were in the cage. Mm -hmm. It's totally antithetical to baseball swinging. Yeah. Because the ball could be coming at you, and you've got to hit it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, it you can go hurt. behind you. You also have to protect the wicket. Right. The ball can be coming behind <clears throat> you, and it could be coming behind you, but he's a, there's a spin on it, and it's actually going to come back toward you, and you've got to think, and you can see, he's like, okay, in a millisecond, I'm going to put this over to the right, and I'm going to put it right between these two guys who are standing about a meter apart from each other. I just... Yeah. And I, uh, they also say there would be no uh, MS Doni. Without, without him, right? I've heard uh, that as well. And uh, those are the two like that I've heard. Yeah, of. the, the great greats, the legends. Uh, and there's of course many, many others. Um, but those are the two that like. But they say that MS Dhoni wouldn't be here without what Sachin did for the yeah. game of cricket in India. Right. Um, so that's crazy. I, I want to know because we've seen Liga. I want to know what other cricket movies we yeah. should do. Was it, should it be Sasha and a Billion Dreams or should it be the MS Dhoni the only one told story? Right. I think there was a South Indian one as well. Uh, and I'm sure there's others we don't know. So yeah. en enlighten us, stupid family. Uh, Tell us what, what we should watch because I'd love to watch more of them, want to learn more about the sport. Yeah, because I, I really enjoyed the Lagan, of course. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. Yeah, it did teach us quite yes, a bit. It did. It did help us <laughs> quite a lot. I understand more of it now. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, when it's rolling out of bounds, and I was like, oh, that's four points. That's uh, I know that. Yep. I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it actually makes me feel like I would know what I'm going to watch if, if, if we went, we to, went a to a game. Yeah. You know? Could you imagine what it would be like if we ever went? If to we a... ever went, we, imagine if we could see India play. Who? Like wow. If, like if they were ever coming to the United States? That'd be crazy. They would never do that. No, though. no, no. They'd probably go someplace stupid like Florida. Yeah, probably. <laughs>